Well, we got a good one today. Down here in Garden City, Missouri. And if I think right, I think we're picking up that thing right there. Ford Fairlane. That bad boy is beautiful. And then we're going to go from here and go over to Archie, Missouri and pick up a Honda Accord. And then we're going to take it up to Liberty, Missouri. I think that's what they're telling me. Well, we'll figure it out here in a minute. Hello? I think I'm here to see a Mr. Gene. Okay. This is Second Good morning, and is he? Yeah. Okay, what, what are you here for? Tow trucking. I'm going to get him a haul a couple of his cars for him. Oh, okay. Um, let, me, let me see if anyone knows anything. As far as, I mean, I don't doubt it. He is not at his desk. So yeah, I just talked to him about 15 minutes ago or so. Yeah, and he's, he might be on the way back. Hey, do you know anything about a tow driver? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Uh, Jeremy, his son, will be up here in just a second. Oh, so, okay. He knows, apparently he's in the loop and knows what's going on. Bob? What kind of business is this place? Okay. I always wonder, you see this place from the highway, but you never knew what was oh, back here, you yeah. know? Yeah. a little manufacturing plant. Like I got you. It. So it's kind of small, but growing.
How we doing today? Yeah, I was, I was, I was half tempted to just keep on going to my house. That's a good looking little fair lane. Yeah. And he said you guys are gonna take it and tear it up and put big motors and stuff in it. We're gonna talk about that again, but it's almost too nice of a car to do that too. I'd almost look for it. if that's kind of one kind of style you want to go with. I'd find one a little bit more beat up and. But. That thing actually belongs like in the garage with a rope around it, you know. But I mean, for what I bought it for, I don't think I can get anything. Yeah. They. Yeah, you tell me what you give for who, you get. Whoever did that put a 289 in it and put the emblems on the side and tried to. A 289 with a four on the floor is a pretty rare 63. Right. Fair lane, but that's not a real 289 four on the floor, so nobody wanted to bid on it. Well, I wanted the body. Oh well, yeah. So. That's beautiful. But I, I start looking even if I buy fiberglass doors and shit, I'll have almost 14,000 in parts. So That car's just too clean. I know. Too We're, clean. I've, I've had second. I thought they were going to reinforce underneath and keep it more intact than they wanted to do it, but they wanted to put a tubular frame underneath right. it. Right. They're going to put a roll cage. Yep. It's going to be a seven and a half second car when it's done. Yeah, that 1500 horsepower. The outside might look all right, but it ain't going to be nothing on the inside. No. It'll all be tubed out and gone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like it's too clean of a car to do all that. I could see putting a little hot motor in it though, you know, a little three, four hundred horsepower motor in it, makes that have something fun to play that, with. That's but. what I thought we were going to do, and then you start talking about well, they're going to have to reinforce it because it's not a full frame, right. it's a unibody. Yeah. Well, they, you know, if you just went with a little hot motor, they can connect the two together, you know, with a frame mm -hmm. underneath that. Just connect it, you know, and be done with it. But the three guys that are, they're they're outstanding guys in this field, but they've not ever seen the car, so. I'm going to take the car up and yeah, then when I'm, they I'm going they, up this afternoon and when we'll they, have another talk. When they see it, they'll be like, we don't want to tear this apart. I think they'll be that way too. I, I'm starting to cry and thinking about you cut, cutting it up. I, know. I got some Ford guys that work for me over there and they're suggesting all this Ford stuff to go in there and then my son told me, I come in and said, we heard you're going to put a Chevy crate engine in it. <laughs> it's already bought. It's got an LS6 going into it. That'd be fun. And it's all going to be electronic, so they're going to start it out like at 700 horsepower. And right. It's going to have everything in it, and they're not going to put anything in it and just change the settings, and it'll go up yep. to 1,500 horse. So. That'd be a lot of fun, though, either way you went. Well, you know, the other they wanted me, the other guys here wanted me to put, you know, big, big block. Right, stuff. right, right. But then that's all you got. Yeah. With this one, I can put 87 octane in it, reset the settings to get 25 miles well, to the gallon, well, and drive well, it home. Well, if you've already got the motor, then you can use that motor in training for anything. Sure, but they—they mm -hmm. they happened to be talking to. I think it was Chevrolet. I think it was Cable Dahmer that had it, and they were just talking, and that engine come out, and they said well, we've had five on order for three years, and we got three of them. We don't know when, if, if we're ever going to get the other two. And they called me and said, <laughs> you need to go buy that engine today. Yeah. So I, I bought it and drove it up to them. It, I seen the motor a couple weekends ago when I was at the shop. So, I got you. so how did your little stinger thing work today? Well, it had to go down and grab hold of the tires. They said that one of the ball joints are bad on it or something on the car. No, it's the, the CV joint on the split axle. Uh -huh. they just, so there's no there's no wheel on well, Where's the car at? Crazy. Well, let's go up here. Yeah. I'll, I'll drive up here. Just point it out right in front of that door. Okay. <sighs> and I've got a floor jack so I mean if we need to roll it somewhere we can. Right. I just I took it up to see how much trouble it was going to be and I got on the internet reading and people are saying like after day five they're still trying to get that thing broke apart. But it just broke back up in here. Oh, you just need a new axle in it. Right. Oh, that ain't hard. Well, the best way to do this is we'll put the tire. I got the tire in the trunk, but that'll just swing away if you want. It's just sitting there. Oh, I see. The upper lower control arm's holding. Right. And the lower ball joint's pops. Yeah, so we'll just put the tire back on it. Okay. And then that stringer comes in and just grabs all the tires. Okay. Lift the whole tire up, that, everything up. It'll support it on that side. Yep. Okay. We'll just put tire back on it. All right. That'd be the easiest way to do that. Sure. I need you to show how to do it. Oh yeah. Let me grab some gloves here, and I'll help you do this.
Well, good afternoon, YouTube fans. I got a good one here today. Got you an old Ford Fairlane. Oh boy, I bought this at the auction that comes to town once in a while at Mecham Auctions. You've seen them on TV. You can get a better look at it. And he washed this for a couple days and nobody was bidding on it. He offered the old boy a little over $13,000 for it and I gave it to him. Now they're wanting to make a hot rod out of it. We're talking about putting a big old LS motor in it and a couple turbochargers on it. I've been sitting here trying to talk him out of it because this thing is just too clean. Somebody did a lot of love on this car. And I'm also towing his little Honda for him. Right here in Archie, Missouri. We're going to take him up to uh, Liberty, Missouri. And his mechanic up here is going to fix the little Honda for him, for his son. Because it broke the CV axle right here on the passenger side. This is a Fairlane 500. Absolutely beautiful. As you can see the interior. I've been here at this house a little longer than I usually am because I've been trying to talk him out of tearing this car up and just leaving it alone. She's just too beautiful. Well, thank you. You know what to do. Like and subscribe. All right, we got it to its destination here and up here. I want to give you guys a better shot of this interior. Look at this thing. And can you believe they're getting ready to de-gut this thing and put a roll cage and everything in this car? He's talking about a 1500 horsepower motor to sit in this thing. He wants to do the street outlaw thing with it. Can't blame him, he'd be pretty badass. 
And the shot that's going to do it all here is, let me get on this here. And I guess they're well known, they travel all over the place. It's 515 Motorsports is the address up here or the name of the company. But I guess they do a lot of these customized hot rods. So hopefully I get to see it after it's completely done. And for you Ford lovers, they like these little 289s. There it is. All right, thank you. Like and subscribe. You know what to do.